Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mahira and ignore how bad I look. So today I am going to be bleaching my hair using the Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf um, Blonde Me um, Premium Developer, which is the 30 volume one. And then this just came now, like the postman just dropped it off. So this is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me um, bond inform uh, bond enforcing premium lightener and it should lift up to nine levels um, and I got this off eBay so because I got this off my cousin Janan shout out to Janan and yeah so this is the state of my hair at the moment I cut it it's very greasy because I wanted to keep it greasy for bleaching my hair um, if you haven't seen my last video or one of my last videos that's basically where i gave myself blonde cap highlights you can go watch that it'll be linked in the description box below but i am going to be bleaching my whole hair blonde and yeah i basically can't wait and if this goes bad then you know like who cares like i'm going to be at home anyway and blonde is always a color that you can hopefully fix so yeah so i did a test patch so far, so good. She's using Blonde Me from Schwarzkopf. For me, at this moment, we are in December 2020. For me, today, this is the best bleaching product there is available here in Belgium. There is uh, Olaplex inside. Well, there is Fiberplex. Olaplex, Fiberplex. All the plex are nearly the same. Olaplex is from L'Oreal. Fiberplex is from Schwarzkopf. This is something to make sure that your hair is not breaking off but it's slowing down the process so we have to put your timer a little bit longer fiberplex is already inside the bleach and i'm not sponsored this is really my favorite every time we use that we see a difference on the client's hair the condition at the end it's always so much better than if we are using another bleach but it says lifts up to nine levels don't blindly stare at this number nine because you can think then i'm dark brown so a three i can go to a ten that will not happen without getting orange or yellow it's not happening because you have to melt down all these pigments and in previous videos i explained already the underlying pigments that you came across if you're bleaching so i will not repeat it every video this is the first thing i see she's doing correctly the other thing she's doing very good is she didn't wash her hair if you don't wash your hair you have a protection layer on your scalp otherwise the bleach will aggressively work on your scalp and it will hurt more. Don't wash your hair before you're going to bleach it or the day before you're going to bleach it. And she's not going to use 40 volumes. She's going to use 30 volumes. I already love her. So I did a test patch <clears throat> last night and that's how it came out. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep this on because the, my nose is very sensitive to the bleach, so... So this is basically the sped up version of uh, me bleaching my hair for the very first time by myself. And it looks so disgusting, so terrible. Um, I had no method whatsoever and I was using a makeup brush because the hair applicator brush that I had was really small. I think um, I didn't saturate it enough. And that's why my hair was really patchy the first time round. Um, and the foils actually really annoyed me. I think that's what made it even worse, trying to get the, every single piece of hair under a foil. And instead of doing it in like a bunch, like late, how I'd do it later on. So yeah. Okay, so I have done the two back sides, but not the roots. So now I'm going in the roots and it's been around... 40 minutes and I'm still I still haven't done the front bit. <gasps> oh my god. Hey guys, so I have just um another thing I see is greatly done is first bleach the length. Wait for the roots. The roots will lift very very easy. 
always because of the heat of the head. So first, focus on the length. And she's doing that in foils. That's also a very good thing because foils are keeping the heat inside your hair and it will bleach faster. There will be yellow pigments. Don't expect to have white hair if you are this dark. Don't expect to have white hair in one session. She's doing at this moment a very good job. Wait for the roots, first the legs. Great. Like I've been bleaching my hair and I know it's been patchy because so I basically I know I'm going to, have to do it again because I missed out this section and this section because I just wanted to keep record of like track of time. Um, so as you can see, this is like this side and this is that side. It is going to be so patchy and there's going to be so many dark spots and stuff I know, but it's fine. I thought I wouldn't be bothered to bleach it again, but I actually am. So yeah. So I thought I would give it a 360 on what my hair looks like. So yeah, the back is like really badly done. Don't worry yeah. about that. Now I like, don't worry. Don't know what areas I have to do? So yeah, I'm now gonna be doing this section. So yeah. Also, a very good thing: just begin in the back and then rinse it off, so you don't overprocess the back of the head. If you are starting in the back and you're doing completely the front, it will take time. If you do it by yourself, it will take a great amount of time. For example, let's say that you are finished the whole head in 45 minutes. It will be a huge success. If you start here, you finished here, this is already 45 minutes on your hair. If you set a timer then for 30 minutes, this will be 30 minutes, but this will be one hour and a quarter. Always be careful. This is a good thing. Start in the back, stop, at the top of your head, rinse it off and then start over. She's doing an amazing thing. I want to jump in this video and give a high five, but I cannot give a high five because of the coronavirus. So far, so good. It's patchy. Of course it's patchy. Don't worry about the patchiness in the back. You're doing great. I really thought that I was saturating it enough, but I wasn't. And it was so uneven, as you can see from like the rest of my head. But um, it does get better, like I promise. Okay, so this is the current state of my hair. Very uneven and very patchy. Don't worry. I am now going in for a second bleach to go over the dark bits. So my mum did the back of my roots and tried to fix like any brown parts. Um, I can, it's actually hot, like I can feel it, which is so cool. Okay, so we just did the roots. This is where I am at now. Just currently, you know, chilling. Like, this is such a look, honestly. If Gucci did something like this, honestly, it would be iconic, but when I do it, it's not that. Okay, this is what my hair is looking like. I know it's still gonna be uneven, but I really don't care. Okay, this is the first small mistake now she's doing the roots. If it's for me, my client, in my salon, I will do a second bleach on the length with 20 volumes. Not with 30, with 20 volumes. Just to rem remove the yellow pigments on the length. Again with foils. Then the length will be very, very blonde. And then do the roots. This is the first little mistake because the lengths are not quite the blonde that you want to be. At this point, her roots is going to be lighter than the length. Little mistake, little. And I think I'm just gonna, I might just bleach it to the point where I can just dye it blonde. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. So, um, I let my hair rest for a few days, so I touched over the roots, kind of mostly. I don't know why I'm out of breath, I literally just came up the stairs. <laughs> Basically, um, I went over the roots on Sunday, but obviously I need to retouch them. Not retouch them, do them properly. And then today, I'm going to be bleaching my whole hair again, so today is Thursday. 
my still my hair my hair still hasn't like greasened up yet but I just want to get it over and done with so this is what my hair is looking like at the moment and like this side is darker than this side because I let this side on for like 40 minutes whereas this side is like an hour um, so I'm going to have to, st I'm going to start on this side but it looks like this, like it's really dark on this side compared to this side and then yeah hopefully everything goes okay and yeah kind of dreading it but you know you gotta do what you gotta do you can't go out like this oh my god the other day i went out at night and my hair not not in public like i was just crossing the road to go to my cousin's house and like my hair was glowing in the dark like oh my god and i forgot like people were staring at me and i was just thinking why are people staring at me and then i realized like i have bright neon yellow hair like okay so it's just been an hour i've done this side um, it's still going to be a bit patchy, but what can you do? Uh, and now I am going to start this side. So, yeah. So, this time around, I used my hands, and that was so, so, so much better than using the makeup brush or the hair applicator brush. And that was because I had more control over the bleach. Um, and I was able to fully saturate it, like, right from the top, then from the bottom. And I also, like, I wasn't bothering with, like, the foil. Because <clears throat> when I have the foil, I'm trying to get it from all the way from the top to the bottom, well, from the bottom upwards. And that was just really difficult. So I found it much easier to saturate the whole, like, saturate, like, some clumps of hair and then wrap them in for you at the end like you can see on the other side and yeah so this was so much better and I feel like more confident in doing my hair now like bleaching it because I found like the way that I can do it um and also this time round when I went over like my roots and stuff I used the mirror whereas it was last time I was just like not eyeballing it because I couldn't even see the back of my hair but like just try to use my hands to like estimate so this is currently the sorry my phone is wonky uh because of the stand so sorry it's like wonky at the moment so i'm just gonna have to be like that this is the current state of my hair um i hope i covered it okay i know i feel like the back bits it's just like it's not perfectly done but I'm going to start washing out this side of my hair. Hopefully it's going to be alright. Um, it looks okay. Yeah, it looks and, okay. Uh, I hopefully, like, these bits, I just wanted them to be white, but I just don't understand. So I might have to go over that again, but that's just like a five minute thing. And then, yeah, hopefully I will be done soon. So many hopefullys because we don't know what's happening with my hair. But I thought I would just uh, show you guys without that thing on. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. Okay, so... This is after the second bleach, which you guys just saw. Anyway, yeah, this is also the second bleach, which you guys just saw. And I'm not going to lie, like, I'm actually really happy with the results. You see, it looks already very good, but the roots are lighter than the length. But this is because she has not did first two times the length before focusing on the regrowth. Another thing that she did very good is wait two days, or three days was it? I think two days, to process it further to let your head rest let it heal now all you have to do is tone it i'm gonna go out now to buy toner um and then yeah i'm just gonna put that on and then hopefully it will all look okay i personally i think it looks better middle parting because what is that what is that oh my god but i really am like happy with the color like it's not really orange that much anymore it's kind of yellowy so hopefully the toner will be able to get everything out so this is what my hair looks like from like the front and then from the side this is the back i think it's been like a big improvement um 
So yeah, I mean like it's gonna be like that anyway, but I'm talking about my roots, like I don't think that it's too bad. So hopefully I can just get away with it. So I am honestly so dumb. You're meant to put toner on damp hair and I put it on dry hair. Nothing's gonna happen, but obviously it, it absorbs better on damp hair. And I've been watching videos and they always wash their hair and then put toner on. But I don't understand whenever I actually decide to do stuff, I become so dumb, it's so annoying. Like this is what I do in my exams, I know the answer and I still won't write it down. Like I just I don't I don't know. So this is the final look. Oh my god, why did it go up? So this is the uh, final look. Sorry, can't be me. Honestly, I look so bougie. I don't know if it's that I look bougie because I'm looking through the sunglass like tinted like frame or because I actually look bougie on camera. But in my eyes right now, I'm looking so bougie. Hey guys, so this is basically the final look. Please, please, please ignore how ugly my makeup looks today. Like, I don't understand. Every time I try to look nice and I put effort in and I take time on my makeup, it doesn't end up looking nice. But whenever I do it rushed, it like looks all together and whatnot. So uh, yeah, just ignore my makeup at the moment. Like today, it just looks so bad. Uh, Draco Mafo has nothing nothing on me like oh my god look at me <laughs> it looks great also your makeup looks great what's wrong with your makeup i'm not a specialist in makeup the toner did his job but you can see that the roots are more light than the length but it looks good her eyes her dark beautiful eyes pops up now what i would do for her if she want to have blonde hair is a little bit more to the gray color, the gray silver color, and then a little bit darker on the roots, so she will be blonde, but then it will match her eyebrows. It's not a fail. I will say it, it's not a fail. Hold up, wait a minute. Let's be humble for a second. No, I'm joking. Like, obviously I know it's not perfect and stuff. I straightened it. And um, I know it's not perfect, but I wasn't expecting perfect, like, I've never done my hair before and I mostly did it myself apart from like the back which my mum helped me even though she said that I look so ugly with blonde hair. Um, so let me know if you think I suit blonde hair or not because I would like to know but personally I think I suit it and I really like it. Um, it I wanted like an ash blonde kind of colour but um, like it is kind of ash blonde but it also have it also has hues of yellow which i am perfectly happy with like i was worried when i was using my toner um that it would go like gray or something and i was like oh my god no like i don't i don't want to have gray hair like it won't suit me like obviously that that bit's like a bit grayish in the light but it's okay like We'll just say it's white. But no, I'm really happy with it. Please do um, let me know your opinion if you think I suit it or if you think or if you prefer the black, uh, like me to wear black, not me to wear black, me to have black hair instead. Like, let me know what you think looks nicer on me. But personally, I think it looks nice. I'm so happy with my hair. Oh my God. I'm so happy that she is happy. So you see on the roots, it's already gray and that's because the hair there was already white bleached. The more white your hair is, the more effect the toner will have on your bleached hair. Put it in the comments what you think of her. Uh, is it a fail? No, it's not a big fail. Have you enjoyed this video? Have you learned from this video? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. And all I'm going to say today is, ciao kus.